Hi, Jen and Beans here with girlydohairstyles.com. We're going to show you how we do our twist waterfall braid today um, using just two strands of hair. This one's great for those of you that don't know how to French braid. And we're going to do this into a fun up style as well. Okay, so first I have her hair pre curled just because it makes it easier for any style to do that. We're just going to take out a small front section. We're going to divide that in half, and then as I do mine, that's not quite half. As I do mine, I like to twist individually one direction and combine them by twisting them the other direction. That just gives your braid a little bit more pop to it. So, okay, so give it a couple, just like one full twist, and then all you're going to do is take out some hair. And smooth it. And then you just drop it in between. And make sure these stay nice and smooth again, twisting back a little bit as you twist them together. And this just stays down. You can have her hold that if you'd like to make sure that it stays nice and tight. So I twisted that, and now in between the next little twist, we're just going to put some more hair. We're just going to drop it between, hand that to her, and then twist back, and twist your thing in the right direction. So drop it in between, hand it to her, twist back, and then together. And once you get to a new spot, you're just adding more hair in. Like I said, this one is a nice, easy one for those of you that don't know how to French braid, but love the waterfall braid. This one's the easy one for that. It's a two-strand waterfall braid, a twist waterfall braid, whatever you want to call it. I need you to hold these more right about there. Thank you. There's another one. Now we're going to continue with this for a minute, and uh, then we'll be back once we get started on the second one. We're going to take a tiny little pause so that you don't have to watch us just keep doing the same thing over and over again. Hopefully you get this by now, what we're trying to do here. And it, like any style, just practice, practice, practice. It's going to be the most important thing. <coughs> So we finished our first braid, and we did it on both sides. We have just the twist braid of the waterfall braid right there, and we've done it as well on this side so that we're even on both sides. Now we're going to do a second one that I want to be just right above, that starts just right above her ear. And all we're going to do for this one is we're going to try to just use these as the ones that go all the way through. So I know some extra hair will get in there in the mix of things, but... Okay. Oh, I'm twisting the same way. Okay. okay. So you're just gonna grab out from this one. And if you don't get it all or if you get a little extra, it really will be fine. But those are the ones that I'm going for here. And you just got to make sure that you're twisting your twist the same direction as what you started with. Sorry. 
Put it down right here. <laughs> Should I just drop this one? No, I want you to hold them. So see, it's just the exact same idea as what we were doing before on this part. This one might be even a little bit easier because you already have the hair that you want to use already parted out, so it makes it a little bit easier. Here's a couple more for you. You just keep continuing with this, keeping it nice and tight. Here we go. Me tight, not you tight. Okay, so we're going to continue this. We're going to pause the video for a minute just so we can continue this and so you don't have to just watch the same thing over and over again. But it really is just the same thing. I guess I will tell you real quick, just to finish them, I did use an alligator clip to hold it while I did the other side, and then I just used an elastic to hold them together. So. So that would be the only other thing that may be a challenge. Maybe I'll finish up to that point before we turn it off. There's another thing. <clears throat> this off. This is always a struggle spot for us when the cut when when our little beans was little she nicked herself on a chair right there. And so I have a bald spot right there that we always have to cover up. Because she had to get stitches while staples in her head. Okay, so once I get to about where I want to stop just twist it a few times, and then grab your alligator prong clip, ours is a devil, and just secure it. Make sure it's secure before you let it go. Go ahead and let those go. And then you can go on and move to the other side, and once you get them together, you just kind of use an elastic to hold them in there nice and tight. So, all right, we'll be back in just okay. a moment. So now you have this double twist on the top of her head and it goes all the way around. Both sides are done. So now you have a couple of options. You can leave it exactly like this. You could pull this and do it into a fun um, low style. And if you do something like that, your options are, of course, that you can give this a little bit of tug and give it a little bit more volume. Kind of keep it low on the front so it look good, looks good around her face. And you can give this just a little extra bump and texture that looks really cute on updos. So we're just going to kind of do that for a minute so that you can see how this looks. And last time I did this style, I did it just on my mannequin at the salon that I work at. And um, I never showed you the front view and a lot of you wanted to see like how puffing this out looked from the front. So let me puff this out a little. We'll have Beans turn around and show you her beautiful smile. So, let me show you from the back. Kind of gives it volume. If you get where you get too big of a bump, you just got to go and work your way through it and just kind of pull it down, find the one that attaches to it. So this is a very forgiving style as far as that goes. So you've got the volume, you got the extra texture, which is totally cute and updos. Go ahead and look at the camera and show them how it looks from the front. See, if you stay, if you are smart and you keep this low, it's not too dramatic. So, that's how we look with that. And, you, I mean, this really does open up so many possibilities to doing updos and giving a little bit extra volume and some fun texture and just a beautiful look to things. So, Beans wants her hair pulled into a ponytail today, so we're going to pull it back here 
and we're going to leave it like that for today. So thanks for watching, and please subscribe to our channel. Please subscribe.